what's up guys welcome back to jp barbecue i appreciate you guys tuning in today we are going to be doing picanha burritos that's right we're going to do it right here you guys stay tuned and of course check it out if you're going to make burritos you gotta have beans and we're making them fresh from scratch one thing is you want to check them is for little foreign particles, like small little rocks. Sure, we could just play it safe and use some of these bush beans, but I already have a hard time making tortillas, so we might as well make as many fresh ingredients as possible. Beans need to be soaked in water for about six hours. Use six cups of water to uh, every one pound of beans and just let them sit on the stove. Once soaked, strain and give them a good rinse. Put back in the same pot and add another six cups of fresh water. Crank up the heat to a medium high. Add two cloves of garlic. Add a jalapeno. Uh, about two pinches of salt. Wait till it starts to foam and lower the heat to simmer and cover for about a good two hours or till your beans are nice and tender. Gonna make us a pico de gallo to add to this burrito. Here's how I like to dice up my onions. Uh, it will save you some tears. Cut it in half and make a small cut in uh, order to remove the outer layer. Make cuts going into the onion and at the same time be rotating. Start dicing towards the center of the onion and rotate each time you reach the center. This has been the best way that I've learned to uh, save the tears. Dice up some cilantro, tomatoes, add of course, uh, we can't forget this bad boy. Uh, same thing, dice up this jalapeno. If you, if you like, you can remove the veins in order to remove a little bit of the heat, but if you like it hot, leave them in. Gotta add some lime, and here is what our pico de gallo looks like, and man, this looks good. It's already the next day, and it's time to make some rice to add as filler. I make my own food coloring for rice. Little trick I learned from my sister-in-law, get you two cups of olive oil, half a cup of anato, and simmer on the stove in a saucepan, uh, and you will have plenty of natural food coloring. Throw a little bit of rice uh, in, into the oil, into the oil, make sure it's plenty hot. Uh, once the rice starts dancing around like this, go ahead and add the rest of the two cups of rice. You want to slowly toast this rice and mix it so it doesn't get burned. And you'll be able to smell the toasty smell of the rice. Add your water, make sure to fill it roughly about an inch above the rice. Stir in a little bit of JPAP for seasoning and bring it to a roll and boil. Lower the heat to a simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes and cover it up. Make sure you make sure not to lift the lid till the time is up because you can mess up the rice that way. Once the 15 minutes have passed, you should be left with some pretty fluffy rice. Time to get the grill set up. I'll be using some of this lumberjack charcoal for today's cook. You guys should check them out. They actually have very good lump charcoal. Using three of these 100% biomass fire starters, just set them in the grill, grate and fire them up and set your charcoal on top. Should not take too long, maybe 10 minutes to light them. Uh, and I'll be using uh, like maybe half a chimney. Spread them out, set your grill in place, give it a good scrubbing and you're just about ready. Oh, by the way, if you're interested in one of these custom cutting boards, check out HaleyHome.com. They got a wide assortment of cutting boards and they can even customize it for you, just like mine is. Check them out. Now let's get the star of the show ready. I got this picanha from Grand Western Steak. They were running a special. Uh, buy USDA Prime Skirt Steak and get six picanha steaks for free. Heck yeah, I jumped all over that. Now the skirt steak was for sure prime, and man was it tender. Uh, this picanha steak came in a box that was labeled choice or higher. I'm guessing by the amount of marbling that it's somewhere between choice and prime. I would not say with 100% certainty that it is prime, but man, it still looks good. We are gonna use our JPAP to season these picanhas. Oh, and by the way, if you're interested in it, just visit the website. Nice little layer and pat it in is all you need to do. Here's about what it looks like. I also use my JP steak to season two of them. And man, do they look good in these B-rolls.
Now that our grill is ready, we will put them on in the indirect side and let them come up to a nice temp of about 120 uh, and then we'll sear them. Searing them is gonna put that nice little char on them and lock those flavors in and make them even juicier. We're gonna cut them up into small little cubes. Uh, don't get me wrong, at this point, I just had to sample it and it was just as good as it looks. Here we go, let's start building this burrito, starting off with a nice big 10 inch flour tortilla, layering in some rice, then some of them beans that we worked so hard at, then a nice little generous portion of cubed up picanha that we have been savoring over. Then the next layer is gonna be that pico de gallo, and let's not forget our favorite ingredient, the Haas avocado. Man, it looks so good with this last layer of sour cream rolled up nicely and toasted on the griddle. I'm actually gonna make three of these. And this last one is just rice, beans, and meat. And that's for my little one. Man, do they look amazing getting toasted up on the griddle. And watch this flip. You can't say you're not hungry for one of these. Just look at that nice toasted burrito. It looks so inviting. Just a little bit more and we're gonna be eating good today. Hey guys, all I can say is wow, these picanha burritos came out fantastic. Just super delicious. Picanha, you can eat that by itself, you know, with a little bit of chimichurri sauce. But I wanted to do something a little bit different today. I wanted to do something that I don't think I've seen too many videos. Uh, I've seen videos on, on burritos and stuff like that, but a picanha burrito, I haven't seen one of those. So I wanted to do, do that. And uh, I went ahead and stack this picanha burrito not just with the meat but i made the the beans last night fresh from scratch same thing with the rice i use pinto beans uh, i use just white rice with a little bit of food coloring in it and i make my own food coloring that's actually a little bit of olive oil with uh, what they call a chote and it adds the color uh, to the oil that way when you cook the rice it gets that yellowish color it's not as strong of a yellow color uh, compared to some of the coloring that comes out there in those little cubes but it's it's still more natural uh, a little bit better for you doesn't have any msg or any of that stuff it's all all natural stuff but uh, the picanha absolutely beautiful meat to start off with uh, just beautiful marbling. I got this picanha uh, over from Grand Western Steaks and I don't know if today or if they're still running that special, but they're running a special for Florida residents, uh, free shipping. So, but you gotta go to the website and check them out. I'll put a link right here and, and I'll put it down below so you guys can go check out their, their website. They're not sponsoring this video and stuff. They just, they just got good meat. You know, I wanted to give them a try to see what they, see what they were all about. But uh, the picanha on top, then layered it with a little bit of pico de gallo that I cut up some uh, onion, some cilantro, a uh, little bit of tomatoes, uh, and, and squeezed the lime over it. And it just came out really, really good. Uh, with some of these burritos that I did, I went ahead and cut up some, some um, avocados and sliced them and put them in there. And I mean, just, and then layered it with some cream cheese on top. Oh my gosh, that's the best burrito anybody could ask for. But uh, it's time to give it a try and see what it's all about. Mm. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Just look at that. Don't that look gorgeous? Look at that focus. 
It's a great looking. I like, you know, meat, that, that picanha, that's good stuff. Here we go, guys. Mmm. Mmm, wow. Mmm. That is, that is wonderful. Um, just nice and tender, the meat. Could not ask for a better uh, burrito, guys. Just really, really good. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I appreciate you guys watching. If you get a chance and you're not a subscriber yet, you know, hit that little subscribe button right there in the corner and uh, click that bell. That way you get future notifications of upcoming videos. Uh, the other thing, if you're interested in any of the products that I have for sale on my website, you guys go visit my website. That's where I sell these products. And these products are the things that help support this channel. The other thing, if you're interested in sponsoring a video or getting your name shouted out at the end, hit my Patreon page. Okay, I'm always looking for new, uh, support, new support, new subscribers, and you know, uh, a way to help this channel grow. If you guys want to hear your name shouted out, this is that Patreon page. I'm gonna put it right here, and it'll pop up right there. But I need to thank my patrons because they're the ones that help support this channel. I got Ben Lee, Maria Valderas, Sam Santos, Leticia Vallejo, uh, Billy Walsh, Brian Gutierrez, and Marco Romero. Those are my uh, patrons. I appreciate them very much. Um, but it, and and just want to give them a shout out. Thanks, guys. I love y'all, and I will see you guys on the next cookout. Yeah, take care.